It's 8.30 in the morning and fishermen are out. It smells like fish. They're catching things. People are surfing and this is a great way to wake up every morning. We are at Site 7, which is an awesome, amazing Oceanside site. However, it is small. It is tight. So we got to know our neighbors really well. Thankfully, they were awesome. Okay, so it's a full hookup site. And we've got our hookups right here. Um, sewer, power, water. The power has 30 amp in here. And then you can see we're pretty close to the edge. So coming around to the front of our site, and we've got this great little space right here on the beach. This site is a little tight, I'll admit, but it doesn't really matter when you're just on the beach. Like, it's not been an issue at all. The only thing that's funny is because we're kind of on the main drag of people walking to the beach, I work most of the day in the art pod and the window's been open, and people kind of like walk up to me and talk to me while I'm working, which is awesome and like I love the community aspect of it but it's just kind of funny my coworkers are like why is somebody coming up to your window and talking to you but um, yeah this has been one of our favorite sites just waking up and just looking at the ocean every morning and just falling asleep to the waves it's been awesome so as you can kind of see when I go around to the front it is tight so we are like pretty much right next to our neighbors um, but like I said, it's not really been an issue for us and um, they were awesome, so it worked out well. <laughs> and coming around to the front, I don't think you can park in the front of the site because that's where the site 10 is. So we parked behind, but if your truck didn't fit, there is additional parking either across the street or even on this side, kind of like where the dog run is. So walking through the park, the Spots here in the middle are pull-throughs and can definitely accommodate very large like class A's or big fifth wheels. And if you keep going around, it's basically a circle here. Every site pretty much has a view of the ocean and even the sites in the back, they might not have a view, but like you're, I don't know, a one minute walk from the ocean. So I'd say that like, I'd be happy at any single site at this park. This is site one, which is undisputably the best site at the park. It is big, it's wide, it's long, and um, the view, pretty much unbeatable. So we moved to site four for just one night because our site wasn't available further. And it is still kind of on the ocean, has ocean view. Like I said, every site here is awesome. So. Um, this site's a little funky because our electric is on the other side. It's on our um, door and awning side. And this one, because it's made for bigger units, has both 50 and 30. And there's my husband putting stuff away because we're leaving today. We do have a picnic table at this site. And walking along the edge of it, there's a lot of room behind it as well. So if you had to park a vehicle back here, um, or just have a little bit more room. Then this side has the water and the sewer, and then we're back at the front again. So where the R-Pod is, that's site 10. This is site eight. It's very cramped here, but works. Over here is like site nine, which has a back end and it's cramped too. So these are definitely made for small trailers, probably smaller than ours to be honest. So the beach here is wonderful and beautiful and dog friendly. And um, a lot of people have been fishing here. It's great for playing in waves. The sandbars, um, about 80 yards out, there's a sandbar. So when the tide's down, you can go out pretty far. And it's just a really good beach. There is a fish cleaning table along with water and a sink at it and then a hose and a shower to wash sand off of you once you get off the beach. So while the park doesn't have a dog run, there is an area that's designated for dogs here. And my dog likes it because all the dogs go here, so 
it smells nice for him. The park is located across the street from the Iron Boot Pub, which has awesome drink specials. And the office is on the other side of the street there, and above the office are rentable apartments. There are two laundry pods, we'll call them. Here's one, and here's the other. This is the dryer laundry pod, and it is a dollar to dry. There are two dryers in here. There's a folding table here, a folding table here, a rack, and then a bulletin board with some information about, you know, local stuff. This is the other laundry pod, which has the two washers. They are $1.75. There's also a table with books. You can leave one, take one, and then games. The park does have a shower and bathroom. So this is the women's bathroom and shower. There's a shower, toilet, a little bench. We've got a sink in here, mirror, and paper towel, soap, and it's super clean. And the men's is very similar. Similar layout with the shower, sink, soap, but this one has a urinal as well. And it has a bench too. You'll see the rest you'll see the other things. But um, yeah. yeah. That is cool. It's like a five And it actually has come back because when you go upside down.